Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make random selections from a population. First, I'll show you probably the preferred method using a random number sheet outside of Excel or a random number table. And then after I show you that, I'll return to Excel and show you how to basically recreate the same process within Excel. Now for this lesson, I'm going to just use this image I grabbed off of Google Images. And I'm only going to use the numbers I can see all six digits for. Uh, there are two different colored tickets. The orange start with 214 and the yellow start with 436. And in all, we can see that there are 11 tickets here. And for argument's sake, let's say we just wanted to randomly select three of these 11. How do we do that? Well, if we actually had these tickets, uh, how would we randomly select three tickets? Anyone who's been in a drawing knows you put all of the tickets in a box, and then tickets are selected one at a time until all the prizes have been distributed. So how can we basically recreate that process digitally? And I'm going to show you how. First, using a random number sheet, which you can apparently buy, but there is one such uh, table. If you just Google random number sheet, there's this PDF Appendix B random table number tables. And what it is is just a eight page document with a lot of random numbers uh, randomly calculated somehow may possibly explained here haven't bothered to read it um, but what you want to do is take these numbers which there there's seven pages of them and you want to paste them into a program called notepad plus plus which is a uh, very similar to notepad which comes standard on windows office computers um, but it's just a little bit better than notepad and uh, notepad plus plus is free to download just put in notepad plus plus and there it is download and it's pretty cool and one of the things that you can do with notepad here you can see i've already pasted all the numbers in and when I pasted them, notice there was a space in between. It also kept those indents. And so one thing you can do in Notepad++ very easily that you can't do in Notepad is select everything I've pasted and control H and then making sure this extended button is selected. I'm going to do backslash R backslash N and make sure nothing is in here and I'm going to replace all within selection and see what it did that as you can see removed all of the indents so it's a single line now and the next thing we want to change is let's get rid of all the spaces so that there's a space here and we're gonna replace it with nothing there was a lot more spaces than indents, obviously. And so now we have a single string of random numbers. And then with this, we're going to copy all of these strings. We're going to open a word. And we're going to paste them. And so they're all together here. But uh, just because it goes into the next line here, it's going to treat it as if it was a single line, which is nice. But what we need to do is I need to shrink this down, it's going to be tight, so that I can see my numbers here. I'm going to zoom out. And within the document, I'm going to do Control F. And I'm going to enter this first number, 0, 9, 0. And I'm going to look to see where uh, this string of numbers appears first. It's right here. All right, and I am going to highlight it. Okay, and we'll just keep going through all of these numbers. 091. And you see 091 shows up 
before that first number we found. 092. 092 isn't in the first page, it's not in the second page, it's not in the third, fourth, it's not in here. All right, so you, you basically get the process. I'm gonna pause this for a little bit and I'll show you what I come up with in the end. Okay, so welcome back. As you can see, the first three digit numbers that appear within this random list are 120, 121, and then 046. And one thing that I found kind of cool while I was doing this that I didn't know before, if let's just make up a number, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so right now it's showing all of the times that 1, 2, 3 shows up. But if I just select the text highlighter button and I just click on it, all of those other cases disappear and the first instance is instantly made red. So that's pretty cool. It makes things a lot easier when you have a crummy mouse like I do. But uh, for this case, we only are interested in the first three tickets that would be selected if they were selected in this order, which are uh, these right here. So there you have method number one. Now, if you want to try making a random selection in Excel, uh, there's a couple different ways, and some are better than others. Now, um, I think in most of the methods that I've seen in Excel, uh, they've involved using the rand between function, uh, which is a very simple function that is very dynamic. It takes only two arguments, a starting point and an end point. So what this formula is saying right now is give me a random number between 1 and 11 and that includes the the endpoints uh, just keep that in mind and so I just picked 11 because I had a total of 11 tickets here okay and what might be viewed as a problem is it ignores what numbers it's already produced and so uh, what I have here is I've conditionally formatted these cells to go red whenever there's a repeat. And as you can see, there's two tens, two twos, two fours, and the rest are different. And they're all between 1 and 11 here. So and in the second column, of course, you have the last three digits of those 11 tickets. So one idea would be to say, I'm randomly selecting 1 through 11, and so I want the ticket that comes up as 1, 2, and 3. The problem is, because the random between function will produce repeating numbers, as you can see, 2 comes up with 2 tickets, and 3 comes up with no tickets. At no point did 3 come up here. And if we hit F9, uh, the random between function will change and you'll get a different batch of numbers and this time the number one appeared twice and three appeared twice and two didn't appear and this time one and two didn't appear and three only appeared once and so forth and there finally we have a case where one ticket and only one came up with the number one two and three so one solution to a problem like this where your number isn't actually coming up is to say, okay, instead of looking for number one, number two, number three, just give me the first smallest number, then the second smallest number, and the third smallest number. In this way, there's no way that this will ever come up blank, unlike two here. Uh, the problem is it still suffers the same problem. If the second smallest number repeated, then you're going to get the same population here, as you can see. And you're coming up with multiple for the same uh, row. So how can we uh, ensure that we only see one result for each one of these selections? I'll show you how. What you're going to need is you're still going to make a column that selects numbers randomly and 1 to 11, well the absolute smallest would probably be 1 out of 3 
uh, but in that case you would definitely get a lot of repeats. Um, so instead, uh, the best way is to just pick some very large number. But just keep in mind, no matter how large you make it, there is always uh, the possibility, even though I did 1 out of 500, 278 still repeats. And so you're never 100% free of that possibility, which can be pretty annoying. But the chances are pretty slim for that, the larger you make this. Okay. So how can we only select one of these tickets even when you have repeats? The answer is you're going to sort these by this first column here. So if you just had this and then the random between function and your ticket numbers, you select within inside the area, the array, and you're going to go to filter. And now you have these filter buttons and you're going to click on it and go, I don't care, whatever you want, sort smallest to largest or largest to smallest, same deal. Let's just do that. And a little confusing is, okay, I thought it sorted uh, smallest to largest. Why is 173 appearing before 95, which appears before 407? It's not working. It is working. The problem is random between function corrected itself again but you didn't really need it to be stable anyway that that's just a weird thing uh, that might be counterintuitive when you try doing that all right so now we have them so all sorted uh, by this randomly gen generated number and so the first ticket that we are going to select ticket number one is going to be the number that appears in this first row. Uh, and in the second row, we'll just carry this down, three. And now you have a random selection of only three tickets, no matter how many times these repeat. And in between, 1 and 20, so you have this, you hit F9 to get a bunch of random numbers, you sort it, whatever you like, smallest to largest, or vice versa, and after you've sorted it, then these will change and you'll wind up with a different selection. These numbers keep changing, but the sort order won't change until you force it to change the sort order. And there you go, you have these tickets, those will be your random sample. Thank you for watching, uh, stay tuned for more videos on iXL and so can you.